guys, it's going off grid. This is my grandparents' house. <laughs> we got it on a foundation. And here we got a Generac uh, generator, which my uncle seems to have forgotten the lid off of. <laughs> and uh, I just hooked up the new Sign Signier uh, uh, inverter charger going through this 10 gauge cord to the generator. Uh, it's charging at 3,000 watts. And I'll show you what's going on inside. So here we are on the inside. This is the Sign Signier inverter charger. We got 242 volts on the AC coming in from the generator, passing through the batteries. We're in float so I wonder how many amps are going in that's one thing I don't like about this so much it doesn't tell you the amps going into the battery but <coughs> yeah it's working good we have eight of these these uh, Unigy batteries I can't remember how many amp hours I think they're 130 135 or something each <coughs> I gave them uh, Smart 340 amp charge controller for this now and we have another four batteries to hook up <laughs> everything's working great so far anyways thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in an, uh, another update guys it's going off grid and we got a semi cloudy hazy day Mostly cloud. This is what we're making. It is about 12:30, 1 o'clock, and we are charging the car off the magna signs. Everything else in the house is running off the 8,000 watts reliable. Still kicking, still doing good. And I got a new toy that I'm going to show you. So here's the day we're dealing with here. Looks like I don't know which way the clouds are going. Looks like it might clear up though. That'd be nice, make some power. Uh, we got the Nissan Leaf charging, but we're not with the same old charger. We got a new charger. We got a power point. Bought this thing used off Kijiji for half price of new. It's Wi-Fi connects. I can uh, look at the app on my phone like this. There we here. Charge point app. I don't know if you guys can see any of this. We are home charging. Charging at just under 4 kilowatts per hour. Because I have this set up for 20 amp uh, line in. But I'm going to upgrade this today to 40 amp line in. I'm just going to get a 40 amp breaker. And then we'll be able to charge at about 8 kilowatts. And that is going to be pushing the... The Magna signs to uh, they're a new limit for them, or at least a continuous limit. Because usually I don't pull eight kilowatts for that long, but uh, it'll be nice to charge the car a little bit faster. At least get it charged in a couple hours instead of uh, three or so hours, maybe an hour and a half. And uh, once I put the big battery in the back, I'm really going to be glad that I got the faster charger. Anyways. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Everything else is working quite nicely. You got the solar panels up here, up here, over here. They're all uncovered. We got the house trailer back because uh, we're not going to be going up there, up north anymore probably. And if we do, we'll be staying in the house because it's just too cold. Got the pool drained. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. All oh, the sun came out, clouds are gone. Beautiful. This time of year, I treasure the sun, sunshine, man. So nice. Oh yeah, one more thing. I got the opportunity to get uh, well about a thousand to maybe two thousand solar panels. Obviously, not all for myself. Solar panels are very much like those ones up there. They're mono. Uh, sorry, not mono. Uh, polycrystalline. They're 235 watts each, 
They are seven years old. Um, and we can get them for 85 bucks a panel. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to uh, have a, an email address and a phone number perhaps if the guy's willing to give me it where I'm getting it. I think I'm going to buy I'm going to buy quite quite a few. I might buy 50 or 60. I think my dad I'm going to buy 50 for myself. My dad's going to buy about 10 and my grandpa's going to buy about uh, I think another I think my grandpa might buy between 20 and 40 uh, for up north. It's a very cheap way to get into solar. Uh, if you're interested they should have a, another shelf life of a uh, good 18 years before they're at about 80% of uh, their original capacity uh, or their output power I mean anyways thanks for watching guys as always hope you enjoyed the video all right got my new 40 amp breaker in here getting set up to run these things the funny thing is my main breaker is only 60 amps so I don't have a whole lot of extra power after that one so when the car's charging these suckers are almost maxed out at least continually i can i can pull more uh but as a continuous use I, i'm going to try not to so when the car is charging i'm going to be using this thing most of the time but anyways yeah time to get another one of these magna signs i want to get two more but i'm going to start with one more uh eventually i don't know where i'm going to put it i did not leave myself room at all I might have to move that, move all that stuff, and move, shift this thing over. I don't know. If there's, yeah, we got, might have to put all that on that wall, or who knows what I'm going to do. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Just another update. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's powered her up. She's linking to the internet. And I got the white one is the one I just ran. This is for the generator. That's the multi-strand uh, wires that go to my inverter. And it looks... Uh, oh, we're not ready yet. Wi-Fi is on. And we are waiting to connect. And then I'm going to change this from 20 amp to 40 amp. It looks like it's ready. Here we go. Well, got the wiring done. And I'm a little bit disappointed. It seems like the car is limited to just under 4 kilowatts charging. On the AC side so that's uh, kind of a pain in the butt to be honest unless this thing hasn't kicked over to uh, 40 amps yet or something I don't know I gotta go into the settings and make sure everything's switched over but uh, yeah it doesn't matter I, I wanted to get the that heavier duty cord anyways but uh, yep yeah. doesn't look like we're gonna get any faster charge times out of it too bad.